yes you will be wondering why i have put on the white madrid star jc talking about the real madrid the jc yesterday in santiago benabao the biggest stadium was around 80,000 plus capacity had welcome or should i say was filled and brewed in welcoming one offer their top number nine the next man that will put in on the ninth JC, the man who will succeed Cristiano Ronaldo, who will succeed Abdul Karim Benzema, Salgado, Ronaldo, Alve, Ronaldo de Lima, and the likes of them who have won the JC number nine for Real de Madrid. It is none other than the man who has left Paris Saint Germain for greener pastures in Spain, the man who took France. On his head to the Euro quarter finals uh, where they were dashed out by later winners Spain. Now the coincidence continues to happen that it was Spain who pulled them out uh, of uh, the Euro 2024 and the same Spain is his next home destination. How would it look like the country that took you out of a competition? Is the country you're gonna spend at least four to five seasons in four to five years in the banter continues for Barcelona and the Real Madrid fans as they are celebrating that the young Yamal was the one who pulled out their greatest or, or their common superstar to Santiago Bernabeu, which means the rivalry has just begun in El Clasico. A beautiful morning to you and welcome to another moment talking sport right here on your number one star politics and business tv my name is rudon musago rmg we'll take a quick break and when we return we'll be looking at a local scene and it is not just um kaylan and Pape who has been welcomed also one man has returned to a former home where he was we'll be right back Welcome back and glad to know you are with Politics and Business TV and PNB Sports. And don't forget that you can reach us out on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel at Politics and Business TV slash English. Go there, follow us and also subscribe for more of our programming and other bulletins. Now let's go straight to the Tigress. That is the Nigerian basketball football team. The female team, a Nigerian women basketball team, the Tigress. Have been ranked at two after uh, in the position in the latest uh, power rankings uh, ahead of uh, at the Paris Olympic. A uh, United States uh, sits top, a uh, uh, Belgium uh, second, France third, Japan fourth, Australia uh, fifth, uh, sixth uh, is uh, China, Canada is seventh, uh, uh, Spain is eighth, Germany is uh, nine, uh, ten is Serbia, uh, Puerto Rico is eleven, and Nigeria is sitting. Uh, uh, to offer in the table. These achievements indicate uh, that the Tigress has uh, solidified uh, their status as the top ranked team in Africa. Uh, the power rankings, uh, which is uh, different uh, from a FIBA ranking, is the calculation of uh, the team's uh, strength uh, relatively uh, to other teams uh, uh, that will compete uh, at uh, the Olympics uh, later this year. Now, the United States continues to maintain a stronghold at the pinnacle of uh, the world rankings uh, in uh, the number one sports. Congratulations to the Nigerian girls uh, and better more luck ahead of uh, the Olympics. Now, ahead of the 2024-2025 Nigerian Professional Football League season, Bayelsa United management has a swing into action to welcome in uh, a one man who left them. None other than Ladan Boso. Ladan Boso has uh, been appointed as uh, the new coach of uh, the Bayelsa team while they unveiled him. They unveiled the Flying Eagles coach Ladan Boso on a Tuesday afternoon at the stadium 
and a new coach of the team. After staying with the national team for quite some time, Bozo decided to return to the Nigerian Professional Football League to prove his mental again, as he has a coach of the team long before now. The team which was established in the year 20 in the year 2000 uh, is uh, a base in Yenagua, the Bayesta State's capital. Congratulations to my friend Ladan Bozo. Better look ahead. Now the Nigerian Professional Football League has also announced a significant increase in the price money of the upcoming 2024-2025 season, with the league champions set to receive a total sum of 200 million naira. Now, reports coming in is that the Nigerian Professional Football League revealed that through the chairman, Honorable Benga Elik Bele, during the NPFL annual general meeting known as the AGM meeting in Abuja on Tuesday, recalled that the previous winners' Rangers have received a total sum of 150 million naira and are set if they would retain it again to get a 50 million add ons. Well, this is beautiful. How the Nigerian Professional Football League is beginning to be something enticing now it has also confirmed officially that the 2024-2025 nigerian professional football league season will run its normal full match days after the agm meeting yesterday there has been speculation that the past days the upcoming league season would be an abridged format due to financial constraints experiencing a by some team last season but the agm meeting of the league body and the club owners which was held yesterday on tuesday and uh, it was agreed that there will be no abridged format. Now, the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Ibrahim uh, Gusau, also said other competitions will be put in consideration and uh, before drawing fixtures to avoid much accumulation. He further made it clear that uh, there will be no postponement of any games whatsoever. All right, we'll still be maintaining the shows of the Nigerian Professional Football League as more details is coming out from the AGM meeting yesterday where the Nigerian Professional Football League March Day 1 for 2024-2024 season has been revealed following the conclusion of the league's AGM meeting on Tuesday. Now, the cutting uh, razor and the Super Cup on March Day 1 uh, for the 2025 NPFL season will see defending champions Rangers International Take on a President uh, Federation Cup champions El Kanemi Warriors uh, in March Day 1. Now, according to the league organizers, the Cotton Razor will be the only encounter for the opening uh, week, a uh, build for August 31st, uh, 2024. While the remaining March Day 1 fixtures will take on uh, the following week uh, uh, with the NPFL 2 2024-2025 season March Day 1 fixtures are uh, scheduled as uh, Lobby Stars versus Aqua United. Abia Warriors vs. Remo Sasa, Beyond Limit vs. Yimba FC, Bendel Insurance vs. Rivers United, Kano Pillars vs. Kurudu City, Sunshine Stars vs. Vanessa United, Rangers vs. El Kanemi Warriors, Nasrawa United vs. Shooting Stars, Plateau United vs. Castina United, and the last one, Squadra United vs. Niger Tornadoes in a Northwestern Derby. Alright, on the North Central Derby, I beg your pardon. Now let's leave the shows of MPFL. Let's go straight to the former Super Eagles assistant coach Usman Abdullah. A shocking list stated that no Nigerian coach is good enough for the managerial role of the country's senior men's and national team. Now Abdullah's assertion comes after the Nigerian Football Federation announced it was considering hiring a foreign coach following the resignation of Nigerian Sir Finiti George last month out of the 27 coaches that has managed the Nigerian Super Eagles since its inception. 10 were indigenous coaches with Finiti the last one to take charge of the team. The Eagles have been without a coach since the former winger resigned in the month of June. Finidi quit his role as the head coach of the three-time African uh, champions uh, following uh, the NFF announcement uh, that they will appoint a foreign technical advisor for the team. Now the decision uh, came uh, after an outcry uh, by the following loving populace uh, fol following uh, the uh, 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 team's uh, poor performance including a shock defeat to Benin Republic in the 2026 World Cup qualifiers last month. As the federation continues uh, its search uh, for the next coach of the team, with reports indicating that the officials of uh, the football body have approached Portuguese uh, Josero Posero for a possible return, while also considering Frenchman Harbour Reynard 
Abdullah, who served as an assistant coach under Joe Pacero, uh, isn't bothered uh, he, about his comment, uh, uh, would stare at the honest nest. Uh, he insists the indigenous coaches weren't good enough for the job. However, the former Ayimba Gaffa frowned at the NFF allowing foreign coaches uh, to bring along uh, their assistants uh, uh, with them. The NFF would hope uh, uh, to have uh, the issue resolved uh, in time as Nigeria hoped to get their World Cup qualifier back on track after a poor start uh, uh, that saw them uh, claim uh, just uh, three points uh, from a possible two offer uh, and sit fifth in their last 16 uh, qualifying group. All right, enough from the locals. See, now let's go for a quick break. And when we come back, we'll be looking at Rafael Nadal's return to Clay Court. We'll be right back. politics and business tv don't forget that you can reach us out on facebook and also on uh, youtube at pnb sports now let's go straight to tennis this time around out there offshores uh, as rafael nadal has a first a single match uh, since uh, losing uh, the first round of the french open in may ended with a 6-3 6-4 win against uh, leo Bosch uh, in the first round of a uh, swedish open now nadal uh, missed uh, wimbledon to focus on the olympic in paris uh, this summer and was making his return to action at the tournament uh, in a uh, bastard uh, the spaniard who won a doubles match uh, with uh, kaspar rude on a uh, monday uh, broke his 21 year old swedish opponent uh, uh, the son of a uh, tennis legend uh, john Borger. Uh, with a drop shot uh, in the fourth game, Nadal went on uh, to serve uh, out of uh, the ninth game uh, to love uh, to take uh, uh, the first uh, set. He broke award number four round 61 Borja in the first game of the second set. And despite losing the first point uh, when serving for the match, Nadal won the game to claim victory in one hour. 24 minutes and he says that uh, it was a great feeling uh, for him and a huge honor uh, to play against the son of one of uh, the biggest uh, legends uh, in history of the sports uh, he played quite well uh, he was a future in front so he wished him well and the very best uh, Nadal will play great British uh, Cameron and Nori in uh, uh, a second round of the games now let's go to the reason why I am putting on this JC today out there in the Santiago Bernabeu at the capital of Spain, Real Madrid. Kylian Mbappe said his childhood dream of joining Real Madrid had come true as he was unveiled at the packed Bernabeu. The Santiago Bernabeu which was filled to the brim around 8 uh, around 80,000 fans uh, who were celebrating and uh, cheering uh, unto the crowd at uh, uh, the name Kylian Mbappe. Muchas gracias y ahora voy a pedir a todos que digan conmigo. Yo voy a contar hasta tres y decimos todos a la Madrid, ¿vale? Vamos. Uno, dos, tres. Hacer una cosa con vosotros. But I'd like to do Pero something uno, dos, tres, with you. I'm going to say one, two, familia. three, and you're going to say a la Madrid with me, just uno, as a big family as we dos, are. Tres, one, two, three. The video have actually been going viral, uh, making it look like uh, uh, he had me make uh, his uh, former idol, Cristiano Alvaro dos Santos Ronaldo, uh, who had also put the DC number nine. Now the France forward, who is uh, 25 years old, uh, signed a five-year deal at the club in July after his expiring of his Paris Saint-Germain contract. 
His presentation was delayed due to the France involvement at the Euro 2024, where they were knocked out at the semi final stage by the same home country where he is right now, Spain. About speaking to the crowd of over 80,000 spectators at Benabar, Mbappe too supposed that he had dreamt of the moment that he could be called himself a Real Madrid player. And Pape, who was kitted out in the club's new home kit and addressed spectators in Spanish, was introduced to the crowd by club president Fiorentino Perez. Speaking to Mbappe before the French man spoke to the crowd, Perez said, The love that you felt for Real Madrid and you identifying with this club since your childhood and made it possible for you to be here and to overcome those obstacles on the way to your dream. For Perez, Mbappe's arrival was a long, was a long time team in the making and comes three years after Real Madrid failed with a one round 37 million pounds offer for the World Cup winner as at that time in the year 2010. Congratulations to Gillian Mbappe. Let's go back to England, where it will be. Uh, England will be at the Euros 2025 to defend their title, uh, but uh, will need to improve uh, if they are to convince supporters uh, that they can go all the way again. Now, this time around, we're not talking about uh, uh, the England's uh, male side. We're talking about the female side. We're selling Wagner's side at uh, uh, the tax uh, to in Sweden of uh, securing automatic qualification for next year's tournament in Switzerland. Uh, they did that by holding on a goalless draw uh, in uh, uh, Gothenburg, uh, but it was far from convincing and similar teams uh, of a concern uh, have remained a true qualification. Just like their male counterparts, they are having issues qualifying. All right, now let's go straight to the Euro 2024 that was just wrapped up. UEFA has revealed its official Euro 2024 team off at the tournament, showcasing the standout performances from this summer's championship. Now the lineup presented in a 4-3-3 formation sees Magnan of France holding up in the goal post while uh, in, uh, series of impressive performances. The defenders England, Kyle Walker, Switzerland's and Manuel Akonji, uh, France uh, William Saliba and Spain's uh, Mark Cucurella uh, in the midfield through uh, considering consisting uh, consisting of uh, the midfield side we have Rodri, uh, Fabian Ruiz and Danny Olmo at uh, the forward line uh, is uh, particularly exciting featuring uh, Germany's uh, Jamal Musiala as a central striker and flanked by Spain's uh, Lamina Yamal and Nico Williams. Uh, meanwhile, Rodri was named the best uh, player of uh, the 2024 tournament. That is the picture you, you saw uh, before these are uh, uh, the next uh, picture where the man was kissing uh, the cop. Yeah, this is uh, Rodri, named the best player of Euro 2024 after helping La Roja beat uh, England 2-1 in the competition for a fourth time uh, in Berlin on Sunday. Rodri had to replace uh, either half-timer and also Lemuel Yamal, who was the youngest uh, player of uh, the tournament, uh, uh, who had scored uh, the most outstanding goal also. His picture... Right, I guess uh, his picture, okay, Lemieux Yamal there, and uh, he was the youngest player of the tournament and also the man with the most outstanding goal uh, after uh, the Jude Bellingham uh, coming in second with the most outstanding goal. All right, uh, that said, uh, let's leave that shows. Now let's go straight to the most troubling, most troubling moment of uh, English football. Their coach, Gary Sargent, has... Uh, after one round two matches at the helm, stretching eight years, has quit as a three lions boss after a defeated a defeat by Spain in Sunday's Euro 2024 final. It will be a tough actor to follow as on top of overseas England run uh, to the Euro 2024 final. Southgate has taken his country uh, to the Euro 2020 final at London, a World Cup semi-final and a World Cup quarter final. So who will follow him. PMB Sport takes a, a look at some of the contenders before asking you to choose who you would like in charge. 
Let's go for a quick break and when we come back, we'll be talking about this list of men who could be in charge of English football. We'll be right back after this quick one. And let's talk about the first one, uh, Le Carsley in the list. Perhaps a left field candidate, but England's under-21 manager, Le Carsley, is well thought of uh, at the Football Association. Uh, he has uh, been with the AFA a long time and won the European uh, under-21 championship last summer. He could potentially buy the FA time as an interim manager until a big name was free next summer. Now let's look at Pep Guardiola. Uh, the Manchester City boss uh, has long been mooted as a future international manager and a role which England could certainly excite many Three Lion fans uh, who would want him. Now Eddie Hall, another English manager well fa fancied uh, by the bookmakers. The Newcastle boss has long been talked uh, about uh, as a potential England replacement uh, as uh, uh, or England manager uh, since uh, impressing uh, in charge of uh, Bournemouth uh, Jordan Club, the Liverpool man. Yes, another big name, manager out of Walker. If the FA was minded to go down at the route of attracting a name from abroad, Jordan Club would surely be on the list of contenders. Now let's look at another Argentina whose name is Mauricio Pochettino, another high-profile popular foreign manager out of Walker this summer. Uh, the former Tottenham Hotspur's Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain boss uh, was heavily linked uh, with Manchester United before Rington House contract was extended and will release return to work with England. Let's look at former Chelsea boss uh, Garam Porter. Uh, the former Brighton boss and Chelsea is one of the favorites among the bookmakers after impressing in the three uh, years in charge of Brighton. His reputation did suffer a bit blow uh, when he was sacked by Chelsea after less than seven months in charge in the month of April 2023. Uh, but uh, he remained one of English football's most respected coaches. Thomas Tuchel of Germany. Another highly rated manager who is looking for work this summer, a legend at Chelsea, for helping the club win the UEFA Champions League in 2021. He left his job at Bayern Munich at the end of last season, despite talks to persuade him to stay. Who else could you consider? Let's look at uh, either Ipswich fans uh, will not like uh, reading this about their manager, Kieran McKenna, is also a fast growing a reputation as one of the country's best choice. The England job could come too soon, but do not be surprised to see his name being mentioned. Now, former Chelsea manager also and former Chelsea player Frank Lampard is another name been mentioned by some along with a Middlesbrough coach and also former Manchester United player Michael Carrick. Celtic boss Brendan Rodgers is also not exempted and ex-Chelsea manager Jose Mourinho, who is presently currently playing his shows with Fenerbahce are the big names unlisted. Let's see how it turns out from now till next month where there will be big names are coming in to have interviews auditioning and the likes of them but for me here we say hala madrid for the madrid star fans i'm just saying it we'll meet tomorrow for another exciting moment of the thursday's edition of pnb sport bye for now <laughs>